Hello, my dear friends. Hello, um, craft lovers, knitters, and everybody who came here today to try to learn to knit uh, fast and easy. I love knitting and <laughs> I can do it really fast. And maybe because I do it a uh, different way. Uh, and that's why I decided to share my experience and my knowledge. And uh, here I am with my uh, little tutorials for very beginners about how to knit fast and easy. Uh, basically, I will uh, explain and show you that continental uh, style of knitting, which is, uh, I think, fastest. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you will see that knitting can be can be very pleasurable hobby very you can create absolutely amazing things you can make happy your friends your, your children your family you can um, uh, you can spend a wonderful time knitting and it's kind of therapeutic and uh, let's start for uh, our first very first lesson which is this one we will need a yarn i have a ball of acrylic yarn it's a hundred grams co uh, ball uh, when you will buy your yarn and uh, knitting needles which you will need two pair of needles um, what you need to see uh, you have a label on your yarn my yarn is 100 grams yarn and you need to found find on your on your label this this little part where you have uh, recommendations about your yarn and and basically what we need today uh, this little sign with the cross needles which recommend you the size of the needles you will use for this particular yarn then in my case I will use four millimeters needles which is US size 6 or UK size 8 and here we are ready to go let's start what we need uh, let me see if I put we have our yarn we take the tail of a uh, point of our yarn and we uh, take a little tail like 20 30 centimeters which is uh, 10 15 inches of yarn and now we will put it this way oh, I have a small tail on my right hand and a tail which go to the ball of yarn on my left then basically you take your yarn like this and pull your uh, short tail on the, your index finger first and then you put it on your thumb and grab both of uh, ends together and secure with your hand and now we will start um, casting let me just just put my focus here and here we are the first step we take two needles together side by side and we insert our needle in this little triangle which we create then we pull your needle left and create loop around the thumb then you enter with your needles inside of this loop grab yarn from your index finger this way just put it over your needles and then pull this yarn back to the loop and then you release your thumb and tie it up and here we are with our two stitches two first stitches on our needles let me do it again take your yarn like this grab it together 
put your needles in, go left, through the loop, take yarn and pull it back. After that, tie it up. And these steps you will repeat for every stitch you need to put. We will put like, let's see, 11 stitches. We have two on our needle already. And now we will put, I will to do very slowly for you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here we are! Congratulations! You make your first step for becoming a knitter and now you know how to cast your stitches on your needles. Then, now let's go to the next step. We will take one needle out. This will be our working needle. We will turn around this needle and make it pointed to the right. And now we will start to learn one of the principal, uh, two principal stitches in knitting is knit stitch. We have our small tail of the yarn here and our long one we need to pull back. Don't, don't pull it under the, your needle. You, do, you need to put it over, okay? We need it and <coughs> this right hand, nothing special. I just want to, to, watch, uh, to show you how you secure your thread. Because with the left hand, you will, with your index finger, you will um, manage all movements with your yarn. And with other fingers, you need to regulate tension of your yarn. I do it, just I put it between these two fingers and that's it. This is how I secure my yarn, this way. Some people put it around the finger like this. I don't do this. You can try your way and you can see what is working better for you. Then we have our yarn between our fingers and we are ready to go. The first stitch of the row we never purl or knit. Why? Because we will have um, a nice little braid on the um, edges of our work and then that's why first, uh, first and last stitches are called edge stitches. And that's why we are <coughs> never uh, need them on the, on the beginning of the row. Then what we do, we just take it off the left needle to the right. You see? You just insert your needle and pull it over. Here we are. Now we need to position our yarn behind of left needle and we are ready to start our knit stitch. We, you see here you have your working stitch which I usually separate and with my thumb I secure all the rest, all stitches which are on my uh, left needle to them don't run away and you have this stitch which you will work with. And here, let me, let me just put my focus on this point for you to see, late, uh, to see better. Then what we will do now? We will insert our needle in a stitch. We have front loop of our stitch and back loop. We will uh, work now with the front loop and we will insert our needle on this front loop 
from the kind of left to right. We insert it inside of the stitch. You see? We go inside. And then we have, we lace our yarn here on, on the point of our needle. You see? This way. Just put it over this the uh, needle and then pull it through the stitch and the same time when you're pulling it you take this stitch from your left needle it will be like one smooth movement and when you practice and um, familiar with this movement you will do it very very fast let's do again you insert your needle yarn over and pull it through and take it from your left needle at the same time. That's why you secure your uh, other stitches with a thumb to don't lose them from your um, needle. Let's do again. Yarn over and take it out. Insert needle, take your yarn and pull it over. You see? very easy and if you try this way you will see how much faster is it okay here we are we made our first row now we just turn our needle we put our yarn behind not this way I will explain you why we don't do this. We just put it on top, secure with fingers, and then we take out first point. Yeah? First stitch, we just take out and we don't do nothing with it. Then we position our yarn behind of the uh, needle. And we continue with our knit stitch. You see how it's smooth? I'm doing very slowly. But believe me, I can do it super fast. <laughs> and we will continue this way till you have some nice and beautiful pattern. Let me do some rows and I will come back to you. Okay, my dear friends, here I am back. I'm, I made a couple of more rows with our knit stitch, always just knitting. And uh, here is our result. And this pattern calls garter stitch. I don't know, you know, these English names are all new for me. If, if I am telling something wrong, you can just say me in comments. Here we are with a garter stitch and you can practice now and just see that all your stitches need to be the same uh, tension, the same size and that will guarantee that your knitting will be beautiful and even. Congratulations for your first uh, knitted pattern and uh, see you on the next video with the next tutorial. If you like it, if you want to know something new, if you, know, uh, if you have any questions, just write to me in comments. I will answer your questions and um, if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe to the channel, put some like because it will help me and um, put your uh, notification bell on, then you will never lose any new videos which I will post here on this channel. Good luck with this and see you on the next tutorial.